I hate not having an intro. I never know when I'm live. I just got to wait here a couple of seconds to see if things are live. What's going on, folks? Welcome back to the Virtual Steve Show. We should be live now. Uh, as always, we do this kind of stuff live. So we're playing this new game tonight called Lost Ark. Have not touched it at all yet. It's an MMO. It's a third-person action game. Lots of classes, lots of MMO-type stuff. Looks like uh, kind of like Diablo a little bit to me. I'm just going to uh, jump right into it. We're going to play it from scratch here from the very beginning. And uh, we're going to see if it's any good. So let's find out now. Uh, let me get my audio back up here. Audio quality might be horrible to start. I didn't really have time to troubleshoot any audio stuff. So I'm just kind of looking at my uh, levels here and hoping everything is good. I think this is also my first time doing a desktop stream uh, with this setup. Okay. Got a new setup here. Moved my whole stream room around. Everything is different now. I'm just trying to keep my microphone level a little bit higher. Okay, so this is the first thing you see when you launch the game. Let's take a look here. Before you play, you must agree to the Amazon Games Code of Conduct. Oh, this isn't Amazon Games. Failure to comply can get you suspended or even banned. Protect the community, sure. Play fair, sure. Respect each other. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I'm using that dick or a douchebag in these kind of games, so shouldn't have any problems there. All right, this is a pretty big deal. I'll probably have to wait like an hour before we can get into a game. Well, let's just go to this one here. It says good, status good. It means we can get right in. We want to be east server. It's the only server that's open, so let's hurry up. Let's get in here. I didn't really plan this out ahead of time. We could have had to wait like uh, an hour before I got a queue. This, the queues for this game have been really long. Okay, so I did lots of research uh, before I did this stream. I've kind of been watching a lot of videos on this game. I probably watched a total of like an hour, hour and a half of videos on classes and stuff and tips, which is funny because I might only play this game for like an hour and a half. Might not like it. I'm kind of in between playing as like a mage or maybe as like a gunner or an assassin or maybe even a paladin, a warrior class. I know if I pick the mage and if I go with a, a bard, it'll be easy for me to find people online to play with. My brother's actually going to be playing this game with me if I keep playing it too. So we can play together and I can help him. But I don't know, those gunner classes look kind of cool. So I'm really torn. There's, there's so many different uh, ways to play this game. Oh, look at this. This is like straight out of uh, Final Fantasy, that little train scene there. Yeah, gunner just looks pretty sweet. Hmm. Might do gunner, you know? Might go with the gunner. Although I do like magic. Advanced class preview. Let's see what that looks like. So yeah, here's the bard. This is more for healing. I should just step my game up and play the bard. I know a lot of people are going to need it. But then there's the sorceress, too. That just looks badass right there. Alright. Um... Tough choices, tough choices. Let's take a look at the gunner real quick before we move along. Sharpshooter. Oh, he goes invisible. Look at that. Deadeye. Artillerist. This is so tough. Artillerist is like this tanky neck looking thing almost. Like, look at that. Holy crap. Alright, let's just play as the mage. I don't think I have to specialize right away, anyways. Oh, you can view story? Yeah, we don't care about that. Alright, let's go to customize. He plays a mage. <laughs> Display outfits. I don't care about that. Mode actions. It's cute. Backgrounds. Good, nice background on there. Right, so we can rotate the character. It's pretty cool. Preset options. I'll probably just roll the preset. Oh, I gotta be a chick though, right? I guess it's alright. Better make my chick look good here. I kinda like this one. Brunette. Should I go brunette? This is more of an Asian style. I kinda like that too. We can go with an African queen here if we want. African queen elf. See, that purple hair is kinda nice there. Or we could just fully customize too, but I don't really want to get into that too much. I don't even know how much time I'm going to invest in this game, so we'll go with the preset. Which one did I like when I first clicked on it? Yeah, 
Yeah, this chick's pretty cool. Okay. We're gonna go with this one. I can change hair and stuff if I want. I kinda like that preset though. I think that looks pretty good. Throw some lipstick on her, why not? What does she got? Yeah, put some put some lipstick on this. Did I even do anything? Can I zoom in? Let's zoom in. Zoom in or out. Zoom in! That's as much as you can zoom in, okay. Follow cursor with your eyes. Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. Nice little feature. Not noticing the lips changing at all. Lip contour. Blush. Get a little blush. Alright, this chick looks pretty good. Let's go with this. Let's put her on the beach real quick just to make sure. <clears throat> Change the voice. Ooh, definitely not any of those ones. This one sounded pretty good. Yeah, she sounds a bit uh, tough here in this one here. Let's go with this one. All right, enter character name. I'm gonna just be Virtual Steve. Oh, can't capitalize that. Virtual Steve. Okay, that's fine. Character name contains invalid character. Ooh, who? This game is, um, you can play this game with the controller apparently based on what I've done some research on. I don't know if this part you can do with the controller. I'm gonna play with mouse and keyboard though. You can have a space? Um, okay. Well, that changes things up. Can you not have space? Let's see. Special characters you cannot have. In-game unique names and terms you cannot have. Expletives. Character name contains an invalid character. You can't have the space? Well, they should at least let me capitalize the S then. That'll be, um... Steven... Can I just be Steven? That'd be cool. The name is already taken. Steven VR. There we go. Steven VR. Boom. I do a lot of VR stuff that makes sense. All right, I hope this game audio is good. I'm going to listen back to this for a second here. Testing, testing, testing my stream here, listen to this, Let's take a second, folks. I love doing this stuff live, you know, it's just really good content. Oh yeah, baby, that's good stuff. It's quality stuff. Okay, we get the power pass, we got launch, let's go to launch. Uh, attack with left click, that sounds pretty good to me. Move or interact with right click, that's interesting. Hmm. Uh, I guess we'll attack with right click. Move around to left click. Basic controls, skills, pick up, blah blah blah. Default mode, okay, that's fine. We're not photosensitive. It's nice to have those options up. Trixion. King Lutra went to Trixion with the help of the Lazaniths and met Beatrice. That's good. It's good to know. A bunch of names I don't even know yet. Yeah, so apparently this game is better played with, you know, you meet up with people online, you play with people, but I'm going to kind of probably solo play this a little bit here. I don't know if we should skip this or if we should watch it. The land of magic. Be quiet. Shh, shh, shh. All Sylvains who come of age receive the spirit and power of an ancestor in a great ceremony. Your coming of age ceremony was special. Sure was. I, Archmage and Visca, chose you to receive my soul. But the demons came and spoiled our moment. 
That's not fun. Relshaza, commander of the Phantom Legion, stole my soul hmm. and used its power to try and destroy Rowendell. <sighs> Brailshaza! Queen Azina battled the demon to a stalemate. Stalemate? That doesn't happen. Brailshaza fled to plot her next move. But her army invaded Rowendell. But you never gave up. These cutscenes are very lackluster. You stood up to the demons, defended Rowendell, and won back my soul. But that's not what this game's about. It's about the you gameplay. You are the one I've been searching for. The one who never surrenders, even in the face of oblivion. Sorceress OP. I'm gonna be a bard, you know what I'm talking about? Courage. I'm gonna heal everyone. I'm just taking in the story right now, you know, it's so good. It's so riveting. Embrace the light. Holy sounds in the background. Alright, first impressions is not very good. It gets a two out of ten. This looks good. Greetings. If you know what I'm saying. Destiny Got the red skirt. Has led you here. Sweet tutorial mode, baby. Welcome to the edge of the world, Trixian. Yeah, no, there's like the, um, the two support now classes apparently follow. are the path of the Bard light. and the Paladin. Left click to move. Oh, it's so intuitive. Alright, the movement feels good. It's very responsive. Lots of clicking. Oh, this reminds me of, um, this reminds me of Thor from the Marvel series. This is like the light bridge or whatever they call that thing. The whole world actually kind of looks like that. Or God of War, you the know. The forces of chaos are on the move again. The Arcs once saved the world from the demons. We need them again. Try opening the Tome of Prophecy. Sure. It will show you the path of your destiny. Okay, let's open that tome. Press G to interact with an object. Let's move over there. Oh, you don't even have to press G. You can just click on it with left click. They lied to me. Oh, you go right away into this. Ooh, what should I do, Opie? Should I be a sorceress or a bard? I was kind of joking. I was hoping that... I thought you got to level 10, then you chose your subclass. I was going to play as just a basic sorceress or whatever. Bards use harps as their weapon. Sorceress... A rod is the weapon of choice for the sorceress. Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna fuck with the sorceress. Opie's in chat saying the game feels good. That's great. Oh, wait. We can do a class tester. Oh, yeah. Let's do that. Let's do a tester. Okay. Basic attack is the C button. There it is. So wherever you aim your mouse, she attacks at. That's that feels pretty good. I can hit a little Q ability here. Little W action. Let's try a little E. You check out each class. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Where are my enemies at? Let's summon a let's summon a monster. Bring them in here. Suck it. Suck it. Oh, I'm already dying. Let's try the F ability here. Boom! Holy sugar. Can I run? Run! What does that do? I was hoping that would suck him in. Got all my cooldowns I gotta manage. 
spawn some guys. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if I still got a chat delay. Oh, you know what? I might have a chat delay. Let me see if I can fix that. I wonder if I can fix that while I'm live. I wonder if I can change my stream settings while I'm live. One second. Uh, let's open up a little thing called YouTube. Let's go to my live stream. I always forget to change this. Um, I can turn my stream to ultra low latency, so that way... Uh, let's click on this. Let's see if I can change it. Shit, I can't change it. Yeah, there's there's a decent chat delay. But apparently I can't change it since I'm already went live, so... Eh. It is what it is. Okay, uh, end test. Let's try, let's try the barb. Let's see what... If, as long as she feels decent enough, I might mess around with the barb. Oh, she shoots notes out. Let's summon a boss. Suck it. Suck it. Let's try Q ability. Just like a heavier... Ooh. Oh, look at that. That's like a wide-ranged one. Area effect. Let's do this one. Oh, is this a healing ability, maybe? Oh, I have a dash that has a cooldown? Okay. this one does. Alright, that one's like an AoE effect. I keep forgetting how to do right click to attack. Bard sucks. Yeah, fuck the bard, man. Alright, let's end the test. You better not stick me with this stupid bard. Right, what class am I? Am I a bard? Switch characters. Oh no. I think it made me a bard. Fuck. Uh, how do I go back? Let me go back. Can I go back? I don't want to be this. I literally think it just made me a bard. I just said exit. Like, I didn't... Yeah, I was supposed to click something else. I'll be pissed if I'm stuck as a bard. There better be, like, a confirmation here. Are you sure you want to be a bard? Okay, here we go. I choose this destiny. I kind of wanted to play as like a gunslinger. Is the other thing I was kind of leaning towards. Damn. Universal troublesh Troubleshooter. Okay. Talk to an NPC. May Regulus bless the path you've chosen. Sure. Whatever. But take heart, my child. The future has not yet been decided. Follow your destiny. Speak with Beatrice. Complete. Alright, let's leave you this land. Now take your first step in the quest for the Ark. So the game looks the good. Of Arcasia is in your hands. The light of and it's the free world to play. Must not fall to chaos. I love free to play model. Free to play model is so good. Apparently there's like a you could pay like money and you can just like get to like level fifty right away. I don't know if you have to beat the game first or what. But there's a way you can get right to level fifty. By paying. Pay to win. Oh, look at that little guy. A pillar of light. Wasn't expecting that voice. We better get moving. Huh? Go? Where? To meet old friends. After 500 years of waiting, the stars of destiny call to us. The stars of the light? The light now? Come back, you crazy old man! That's a baby. That's not an old man. What's that guy smoking? Alright, we're in the Forgotten Land. This is probably like the... 
tutorial slash starting area. Probably fight some rats or something to begin with. It's weird because when I was watching all the gameplay for this game, it always seems like characters are using the super special abilities against all these mobs. I want to see some like basic attacks and stuff. Look I haven't seen that yet. We're here. It is pretty cool in this game. Eventually, I guess you get like a ship. And you can sail around in your ship. Yeah, see, this looks pretty fucking good. Look at that skybox. Mm. Got a couple of the moons up there. I love how it shows my cursor always, too. It's pretty cool. I can point at stuff. Like that seagull. There it goes. I wonder how this game compares to that new world game that came out recently. I think it's another Amazon game. Pride home is next, so please don't get off just yet. Uh, oh, I see. We are going to take off once they get. Let's off. go. I'm Steven uh, VR. You're I talk to these folk. Finally, here. I'm like crawling. Run. So we have fifty apprentice healing potions. Good. Hey you, come here for a sec. All right, this looks really good. Rough voyage, huh? And you know how sailors are. They aren't exactly the most pleasant type. Well, what matters is you've arrived here in one piece. So it's time for you to start exploring the land, huh? Be wary, though. The landlubbers can stab you in the back any time. It's rare to see a Slivane from Rowendell all the way out here. This place is pretty closed off. Here, take this. They're supplies from the truer expedition. I don't know how dangerous this mission is supposed to be, but I hear the client invested quite a bit of coin on this adventure. It contains a special weapon that was specifically crafted by Umar Blacksmith, so check it out. All right, we can hit I to open our inventory, or we can go down here. You know, we can do either thing. All right, get that crap out of my face. All right, here it is, the Trura Adventure Support Chest. Okay, let's click on it. Adventurer's Long Staff. So it's uh, item level 60 versus our item level 50. It's got a little bit more weapon power. Some movement speed's the same. Let's, let's equip it. Can we equip it? You've got the adventurer's staff. Okay. Let's equip that sucker. So I right-clicked it. And then equipped it. Okay, so... You just played the prologue? Okay. Yeah, I figure, I'm not going to play this very long. I just want to get to a point that if we do end up playing it the next couple days, I don't know if I'm going to be able to play it tomorrow night. Well, you could skip prologue. Look at that. I'll play it. But I'll at least be ready to play. Can I talk to this guy uh, some more? You. <laughs> you got the right kind of eyes for this job. You can always tell a quality adventurer from some pretender by the eyes. People of quality are hard to come by in the Forgotten Lands these days. Actually, this team here ain't bad, so the treasure's payoff must be huge. Do you know anything about it? What do you mean? Gefka filled me in on the whole deal. It seems a priest from Sacraia Order has put a huge reward out to help him find a hidden treasure in Trua. There was a war fought at this place a while back. It was deemed unsafe by local authorities, but I guess they opened it back up again. I always figured anything of value was destroyed in the war. All these fighter types make me wonder if they're not walking into a... Whoa, wait. What was that? Uh-oh. Wow. Look at him. Check the mini-map. Okay, check the location of the quest... of Jekchian. Did they, did they misspell some something here? Oh, you can't see it behind my body, but they definitely misspelled something. 
Let's bring him some water. Draw water. Alright, so we're harvesting right now. MMO style. Let's bring this guy some water. Thank you. Water. Sweet water. Yeah, that's much better. Thank you very much. I had no idea seasickness could be this bad. I had a hunch you were a kind soul. I'm glad I was right. May I have your name, kind adventurer? Stephen VR. That's a regular name. Oh, Stephen VR. Quite a unique name. I definitely won't forget that one. I am Morpheus. And Trinity is over there. I am a priest of Sacria. I'm seeking the hidden treasure beneath the ancient city of Trua. Treasure? Ah, it seems you haven't heard of Greca. Allow me to fill you in on the details. Archaeological data deciphered from the church has revealed that this land contains the last treasures of the prophet. The news has resulted in many adventurers joining the hunt, though nothing has been found yet. More, of, more and more people are hearing about a land of gold and opportunity, which means the church had to act fast if it wanted to find the treasure. The church decided to hire many skilled adventurers to explore this land on their behalf. They also decided to spend, send priests such as myself to oversee things. I don't think I would be selected for such a dangerous job, but... Ah, look. The one over there is Gurkha, who leads this expedition. Gather round. Where's Gurkha? I'm going to look at my mini-map up top. Bring me over here. Let's go see Gurkha. Oh shit! Pick up the pace. Get moving. Okay. Listen to Gurkha. I'm the captain of the Trua expedition. Call me Gurkha. See, I like this. They talk a little bit, just so I can copy the voice for when I'm like reading their text. I'm sure you're all aware, but Trua was an ancient city destroyed by the war long ago. We only have one mission in this cursed land. It's to find the treasure requested by the priest by following the clues left behind in the ancient city. All, all of you are expendable. If you do anything foolish or cause trouble, I will not hesitate to leave you behind. These are maps made by the advanced party. Press tab to access your map any time. Mm, tab. All right, let's hit that Check tab the button. Map up. as often as you can. <laughs> oh, look at that little map. So I learned a pro tip online. If you middle mouse click this map, you can move it around. And you can also change the opacity over here of both of the maps with that nice little slider. So we can make this big, oh, it can zoom in, look at that. All right, we don't need that. All right, let's talk to him again. The advance party that came first said they had finished exploring the area, but there was nothing to gain. How useless. Starting today, we're going to explore the deeper regions of this land. And I must warn you, if you don't report any treasures or suspicious clues you find, you'll be in deep. Hold on. That overwhelming scent. Some sort of creature is near. Be on guard. Uh-oh. Battle time, baby. It better be a crab. I want to fight a crab. Nope. Captain! Trolls in the camp. Trolls. Damn it all. Look at these graphics. That guy looks like shit. Wake up and grab your weapons. Let's kill some trolls. Yeah, boy. All right. Move quickly. Defend the camp. Okay, press C or right click to use a basic attack. Oh shit, get him! I also have my abilities, it looks like, already. Cool. Oh my lord. I'm only level one. Leave me alone. They don't even explain my abilities or nothing. I gotta look at these. What are these things? Uh, blaze. So I have MP consumption, okay. Looks like it regenerates, though. Yeah, it regenerates. Okay. Creates a rectangular flame forward, dealing 503 fire damage. Okay. 
can paralyze them. It can deal fire damage over time. Energy discharge combo. Fire is a concentra concentrated magic bullet that pierces the foe in front. When an additional skill key is pressed, it fires again. Inflicting 282 damage. Okay, so that's W. So it looks like it kind of chained with that, maybe. Alright, let's move along. Let's keep fighting. Boom. Boom. A little bit of this. A little bit of that. A couple of these. I don't know how I feel about having, like, all of these abilities right off the bat. It's kind of a lot. I'm used to starting with, like, a fireball. Let me start with the fireball. Let me earn a couple abilities over time. Learn how they work. I need to hear about the routes of approach from the advance party's investigation. We'll have to hurry to find it ourselves. Only those who are not seriously injured will be treated and go together. Hey, priest, you can do that, can't you? Heal me up, uh, Morpheus. Sure. You are of quite terrifying. Please, put down the knife. Put down the knife? It said lower your weapons. I don't even have a knife. I came here on the condition that I would not be a burden. So I've got to do my job too, right? But I could use a little help. Steven VR, would you be able to give me a hand? What does he want? Hey, let someone else tend to the priest. We should be searching the surroundings. This tent was burned during the raid. What did that just do? Just inspected it. I didn't see anything else. Um system what's over here didn't tell me anything when i grabbed that i guess i grabbed him some item or something all right let's go talk to this dude oh treating the wound okay I'm thank you it's not a serious injury what a great quest that was that was awesome it's already something at least too late for these people must have cost that priest a fortune and the danger is not yet passed if we don't prepare for what comes next, we'll lose our lives just like them. Stephen VR, this is a HP potion I brought from the Order. Only use it when you are in danger. The red bar at the bottom of the screen indicates your HP. If you run out of HP, you won't be able to continue your adventure. I'll place it in the hotkey F1 slot so you can use it in an emergency. Douchebag. I already gave some the potion. Yeah, give me some more. The treasure is important, but making it out alive is what truly matters. Make good use of that potion. You definitely have potential based on how you took down those trolls without breaking a sweat. Those are some pretty great combat skills you've been using, Steven VR. Combat skills. Yes, they're special skills that adventurers use during combat. Since everyone walks into the battle in their own unique style based on their class and virtues... Keep things fresh by checking what's available in your K, combat skills window, as often as you can. You know how to manage your combat skills, right, Steven VR? I know everything. Leave me alone. Sounds like you've got everything figured out. Before you start the expedition, check the combat skills and think about which skills are best for the situation. Why don't you open the combat skills window and take a look around? So if you hit K for combat... Like Mortal Kombat with a K. Get this little sucker popped up. And it looks like we have these. One, two, three, four, five, six abilities. We're writing about Blaze. Combo's interesting. I gotta figure out how that works a little bit more. So it fires a concentrated magic bullet that pierces the fro the foe in front, inflicting 108 damage. When an additional skill key is pressed, it fires again. How long does it last? So I guess it only does twice. Does it once and then an additional point? This creates a spherical lightning within 12 meters of the cursor location for three seconds for a total of 913 lightning damage. On hit, the foal is pulled toward the center. 
Okay, so that pulls them in. That's kind of good. We have holding. This causes a cold snap at the cursor location within 12 meters, inflicting a total of, whoa, 2,000 of them. 2,159 water damage to foes over nine times for up to four seconds. Okay, that's pretty good. <laughs> then we have normal squall. Oh, okay, so it's called squall. Creates a powerful whirlwind in front, inflicting three hits for 465 damage and pushes foes. So I can use that to kind of keep people away from me, I think. And then we have this frost ability, Seraphic Hail. A huge wave is created, covering the foes in front and inflicting 635 water damage. While the enemy is in the air, it will be launched up again on hit. While the enemy is in the air, does it knock them in the air? doesn't say that. So while the enemy is in the air, it will be launched up again on hit. Hmm. I don't think any of these abilities knock them in the air to begin with. Maybe it knocks them up in the air. We never know what's going to happen, so it's best to prepare for the worst. I feel exhausted and the exploration hasn't even started yet. At least Gurkha seems very passionate and full of greed. Ha! Huh. I heard Gurkha's a good explorer, so he should find a way to the old city soon, right? I don't know if we'll actually find treasure worth as much as Gurkha's dreams. None of the information we have mentions its true value. It could be something extremely dangerous, or it could be an ordinary rock. Or maybe it could even be something to do with the arcs. The arcs? Fabled artifacts of great power. Most people believe they are a myth. But the church takes Ark's research very seriously. This is a secret, but... We're guessing the prophet's treasures we're looking for may have a clue of the Ark. Oh, I think we found something over there. What a coincidence. This way! What a coincidence. I'm gonna look around for loot. Everyone gather up! This guy's just dead over here. What is this thing? True of roster record. I'm definitely not reading all this. Definitely not reading that. But it's there for you folks if you want to get into the story. You know, you can just read it all. Just sink your teeth in. Boom. Boom. Watch this. Hiya. Let's go, boys. Hop on. We're going down the river. All right, so far, you know, this game's okay. It is believed the ruins of Trua are protected by the gods. Between traps and crumbling ceilings, we should be careful. I'm doing his voice all wrong. I gotta, I gotta step it up a level. It's not so whiny. I do a little too whiny. Whoa. These oh. giant statues were built in the image of the gods. In the image of the gods. Uh. Uh. Regulus himself created the Ark, the ever-burning light of creation. This guy's annoying. The Ark contains great power. The power to create and the power. Mm. Just like a god. Why are his eyes closed? If only we could figure out its location. Oi! Oh. You gonna flap your gums all day, priest? Oh. He's right. We should be quiet. <sighs> yeah. This reminds me of a scene in Game of Thrones where they're not like a uh, <clears throat> overgrown place with the dragons flying above them. Like how they start with the freaking thirty place, different abilities. It doesn't seem normal. Seems like we're on the right track. Follow me and watch your step. 
<laughs> the early bird that gets hey, the worm. Stay put. What's this way? Secrets, secrets. Just left them all. Shortcut. That's all that was. It's the trolls again. We have to break through their lines. Oh yeah. Oh, look at that big boy. Suck him in with that. Hmm. I don't know. I seem like I hate it. Yeah, you know, I don't know if I'm feeling. It's just, I don't know if I like this kind of game to begin with, to be honest. I don't know if I have the patience for this. More trolls incoming. I think it's a great for what it is. There's no end to this. Secure the. Everyone, take cover. No. Like I said, I don't like the fact that I have like eight abilities to start with. I'm just like trying to learn the controls, and I have all these different cooldowns, and it's like it's really overwhelming. I can't believe you just. Maybe this is like a, not a good class for like a starter. I bet that's probably the case, actually. But well, here we go, adventure of gloves. Did you have a death wish? It had to be done. Uh, use an equipment item. What the hell did that say? It just went away. All right, so anything with a uh, arrow on it means it's better. Better defense, better magic defense. My intelligence goes up. My vitality goes up. Yeah, let's equip it. Like, for example, I was just playing, like, um, the Jedi uh, Lost Order today, whatever it is, that Star Wars game. I'm glad you're okay. And, yeah, it's single player, and you can't really compare it to this kind of game, but... <laughs> I was just making a rational decision know. to save everyone. You made it out alive, didn't you? As for you, you were faster than I thought you would be. That could be useful later on. She is the hardest class to play. Yeah, uh, this sucks. I'll take your actions into consideration when we've divided up the compensation. Ha ha. Any casualties? None. Good. Then we should continue. Talk to Gurkha completely. This seems like the entrance to the city, but it's blocked. Their letter is written on it, although faint. Okay, I can't read what's written. Let's talk to Gurkha again, my favorite man. Hey, Oops. priest. <laughs> what does it say? When in doubt, blow it up. Neil, bring me the demo equipment. Give it to Stephen VR here. Listen, Stephen VR, set this up with the crack over there and then run it like hell. You're the fastest one here, so you got the best chance of getting clear of the blast. Just don't stop running unless you want to join that door getting blown sky high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Run as fast as you can. I want to just die. Up. Yeah, come on, Neil. Yeah, receive the bomb. And that thing goes off fast. Oh. I hope nothing goes wrong. Give me this bomb. Set it up. What happens if I stand right next to it? Let's see. Will it kill me? Yeah, it probably will. Run! <laughs> Good. I'm going to take 40 damage. Press space bar when you're down to use the stand-up action to swiftly get up after being down. Oh, that's the uh, dash ability you were talking about. It's on the cooldown. Where's that cooldown? I don't see it. Okay, there it is right there. The sprint. Phase leap. Oh, that's pretty cool. I'm learning. I'm learning. Even the explosion didn't take it out. Okay. Damn, that stone ain't going to budge. Is there another way? Climb it. Throw a rope over it. Uh oh. Easy. That's how you do it, boys. Let's get that light. It's open. Summon that light and let it hit that wall. <laughs> it's open. What is this? Did you open the entrance? 
to the collapsed ruin? Lights appeared and the open door. Lights? I didn't see anything. Neither did anyone else. It seemed like Stephen VR just opened the door. I'm not sure what happened, but something strange is going on here. The faintly written letters on the door? I couldn't read it precisely, but it talked about waiting for a chosen one. I don't know what this is all about, but I'm glad you're here. We better get a move on, huh? What a douchebag. That guy needs to open his eyes more. Look around. Hey, oh yeah, look at that light. Gotta follow that light. This. What? That fool priest. I came all the way here, and we found nothing. Are you sure there was an old city here? I heard it's grindy though, not sure. Yeah, James, yeah, yeah. I'm not a big MMO guy, so I'm like the worst person to do a first impressions of this game. I don't think I've ever played an MMO ever, really. I got into Final Fantasy XIV a little bit. Not very far, and I enjoyed that. I think I would play that over this, to be honest. I like that game. But it's also pretty older. It's a little bit dated now. They do update it, though. Are you sure there was an old city here? No city. No treasure. It's nothing but dead ends every time. Are we even going to get paid, or is that like there's nothing else here? Whatever. Whatever he said. I didn't really read it. <laughs> Calm but. down. You will be well compensated. <laughs> right, let's take a look. Let's take a look. Something is in the air. Ooh la la. <gasps> No. I can feel it coming in the air tonight. It's the lost city. Hopefully there's some more trolls for me to fight and use my nine different abilities on that I don't remember any of the cooldowns for or effects for. The hidden ruins here all along. Don't you do that? Be? We're gonna be rich. <laughs> yep. You know these guys are just on a mission right now. We're I'm here. starting to become the leader. Let's go. How do we get down here? We just walk a path. I want some explanation. I think the treasure is over there! Expanded map, there it is. Hey, wait for me! Oh, that's me who just made the comment. Yo, what's up? Uh, I seen you on the Discord there, James. Enter the Great Temple complete. Yeah, you know, I just I wonder if I should just cut my losses Neil, here, guys. I don't know what I was expecting ones. from this game, but we'll give it a chance. We'll play it for like another ten minutes. Play it for a solid hour for a first impression. Let's open that door. Uh, there must be a secret device that could open the shrine somewhere. Let's find it together. I really hate that guy. Are you coming? I'm just gonna stand there. Alright, Opie. Enjoy this game. This seems like a good game for you. I think you'd like this. It's a game you can sink your teeth into, play it for hundreds of hours. It's good. I mean, I'm not saying it's not good. But... I couldn't even really get into Diablo that much when I played it, to be honest. Not that I'm comparing this game specifically to Diablo, but... Found something that can operate the secret device complete. Alright, what is this? What is this? We got orbs now. Okay, they're converging. What are they doing? Yeah, I'm gonna play the prologue. Check the key of Looks light like and the resonance. <laughs> We're playing the prologue. We're giving it a shot. I should have picked the sorceress. I should have picked the gunslinger. That was my first mistake. I got a bad 
feeling about this. Mm hmm me too. A really bad feeling about everything in general. Oh. Look! <laughs> treasure! Wait! Hands off the treasure! I'm in charge here! Move aside! <laughs> what a douchebag. Stop, you greedy fools! Look outside! Open your eyes, you can't even see anything. Oh, more trolls. What are these things? That's a lot of enemies. Whoa. Demons. How did they get here? Where I got this? Holy shit, it's a big one. Using my basic attack here to test it out. Do some little bit of damage here. Sit down, son. We almost died. Screw the contract. That dude has a plastic wig and a plastic beard on. The deal. The guy with the sword makes the rules, kid. Grab the stone. It looks valuable. I love when actors and characters play douchebags. Like, they do a good job of it. Just like he nailed it. The lines are written perfectly. Like, they want you to think he's a douchebag. And you're believing it. You're like, yep. He's a douchebag. Good. Turn a stone, you douchebag. You don't feel bad. Turn slowly. Stop. It's a trap. Yo, Crazy Pizza, welcome back to the Virtual Steve Show. We're playing the best game ever made right now. Yeah, let's save him. Let's save him. Why does she walk like that? What the fuck Please. was that? Don't let me die. Get back. I tried to save him. I couldn't, but you know, at least I tried. His greed would have killed you both. <laughs> Who designs a character like that with his eyes closed all the time? Stand back. That should be against the rules. <laughs> Is it supposed to make him look wise or something? I don't get it. Like, what if I just streamed like this the whole time? <laughs> Where does this I can't even see to? anything. Crazy Pizza. See you later, Crazy Pizza. Nice knowing ya. It's pretty crazy. Oh, look, I can kill these things. That's kinda cool. Alright, let's talk to this Morpheus There's guy. Just two of us now. I know this sounds crazy, but I keep thinking that we are being watched. Dangerous traps, demon attacks, and even human greed. I have no idea what we're getting ourselves into now. I'm looking forward to find out more. I hope we can make it out to the end together, Stephen. Let's boogie, baby. Let's find out what's next. Let's get in there. Jump in that portal. Follow me. Got this, bro. Ain't no thing, ain't no thing. Are, are you alright? 
I'm good, I'm good. Over here, I found it. Take this and go up. Oh, he threw me a rope. An invisible rope, thank you. <laughs> Boss fight, come on, baby. Why do they smell like that? I finally found it. <clears throat> oh, he knew, he knew we came for the whole time. He was... Uh-oh. What's this? Deuces. <laughs> Easy. Specialty. With enough arcane magic, you can press Z to enter arcane torn state. Or plus X to blink to the desired location. I can blink. Uh, oh, I gotta get my. I don't think I can go into that torrent state yet, can I? Is it Z? Not enough arcane magic, okay. Guys, weak. What a weak monster. Visions, I love visions. When the light of destiny reaches the end of the world. The winged watcher shows the way to the light of creation. of the abyss opens its eyes once again you will follow the pride of lions to the beginning no I won't I'm not gonna listen to you I'm never playing this game again destiny calls to you Oh, chosen one. No, actually, it doesn't. There it is. That's the prologue, guys. Trua, the Forgotten Island. Oh, here he is, my favorite character. <gasps> Are you all right? I can't believe you defeated that huge monster. I knew you were talented. That monster was like nothing I've ever seen. So ancient and powerful. It must have been a guardian protecting the Prophet's treasure. So what was the Prophet's treasure? Was it a story about the Ark? So the prophecy was about... A lion's pride? I see. The only pride I know of is a place called Prideholm. 
On the outskirts of Rithromus, protected by the Sacrian Order, there is a small town called Prideholm. Perhaps that's the path you need to take. Thanks to you, I've learned a lot. The prophet's treasure was waiting for you all along. To deliver the prophecy of the new beginning of light. Here we go. I believe this is Open where world. we part ways. But rest assured, we will meet again. I hope not. You can't bond with a character. You can't even tell the color of his irises. We have a destiny, you and I. He's evil. Look at those hands. And the way he's talking, and the ominous music, and the crow, and the... What, is he going to teleport? Yeah, this is weird. Alright, maybe that's why his eyes were closed, the okay? Now it's starting to make sense. Hands. Oh, they open. <laughs> that's why he kept them closed the whole time. I'm starting to like this game more now. I don't know. It just brought me back. Better get to it. That dude's badass looking now. We can't keep destiny waiting. <laughs> wow. I take back everything I said about this game. Not really, but that was kind of cool. That's a cool little reveal. And all that shit I talked about—that guy not opening his eyes and being a douchebag kind of. Changed up a little bit. All right. So this is where the open world begins, and this is where the game really starts. Suppose we should play a little bit longer. You know what? This game is good. The combat's really responsive. The abilities, I like how you aim them all. You know, all that stuff. Frost call. What does that frost call do? So it's got a cooldown 24 seconds. Causes cold snap at the cursed location. Deals up to nine hits. Four seconds. Area of effect. That one pushes people back. I hear a famous priest is arriving today. Alright guys. This is where I tap out of this game. This is where I know that I just... I'm going to be talking to people for the next hour and a half and reading their stuff aloud. And This game's got to be tough to stream. I don't know what other streamers do, but I read things out loud and I do voices. And I didn't get to use my arcane ability. What the hell is this thing? It charges up. It says, uh, normal state, successful attacks fill up the mysterious magic meter by a certain amount. With more than 30% mysterious magic meter, you can use arcane rupture and blink. You can press Z to use arcane rupture an X to blink. Mysterious magic meter will not fill up while you are in magic enhanced state or arcane torrent state. So I think I just deal extra damage and stuff. All right, guys, I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick. I'll be right back, and we will, uh, we're will we going to switch it out. We're going to play something else or do something else. I'll be right back. Bada bing, bada boom, and I'm about 19 ounces lighter. Alright, I don't know. I don't know what else to say about this game. First impressions were great. I think this is an amazing game for people that want to get into an MMO, third-person action party game. I mean, you can't get first impressions on what I just did. I mean, I just did the shitty prologue. 
you just get these mobs of enemies. You get like 10 enemies that come at you and you just wipe them all out like instantly. Like, I don't know. I wish the enemies lasted a little bit longer. You fought them a little bit longer. I don't know. The game looks good. It feels good. But it's just not my kind of game. So I guess I should have just known that before I... This is another thing I don't like. So I think with the original release of this game, if you look in the bottom left corner of the screen here, we're at combat level 10. I think in the original version of this game, you start at combat level 1. And I think you probably earn these abilities over time. Let's take a look. Does it say when we earn these at? Acquired level 10. So they might have changed that, but... Yeah, to me it just feels a bit much having all these abilities at once to start. I don't know. No, yeah, I know the end game and later in the game. I just know I'm the kind of person like this game is this is a game that you gotta spend time in. And um do I wanna spend my time in this? I don't know. I don't think so. There's other games I'd rather play. There's so many games out there. There's so many games to play these days. This is free to play though, so I mean for a free to play game, I think first impressions wise, for someone that likes this kind of game, it's definitely like at least like an eight out of ten. I haven't played too many of these kind of games. I played Diablo, I played Final Fantasy fourteen, I played WoW for like an hour and a half. Um, I played some MMOs a little bit, so I'm like a really bad judgment of this kind of stuff, so we are going to switch this up. We're going to switch paces here. What the hell is this? Um, I don't know what I want to do, guys. I don't know if I want to play a game. I don't know if I want to do some stuff in Blender. We're just going to go by feel here. So I'm going to... Whoa. I'm going to get my desktop on screen here if I can figure this out. Yeah, I completely reformatted my entire stream. Yeah, we're going to work on Blender. I have a Blender project I want to work on. We'll start with that. Let's exit out of this game. See you later, Lost Ark. Well, let's log up properly in case we do decide to play this again, which I don't think I do. But what I've been finding is I've been looking for a game to play on my phone. I have um, this sweet uh, PlayStation. There we go. Am I back? Okay. I just accidentally unplugged my um, um, microphone. Okay. Let's uh, let's get out of this. How do we leave? S setting services. Escape. Can we escape? You're not escaping. Game menu. Let's find the quit button here. Quit. Okay. Good stuff. Good stuff. We're back on the desktop here where we belong. Yeah, see you later, James. Talk to you later. Let's, let's look in Discord. Let's see if people are talking. We got uh, Dangus here. Yeah, that's you. Okay. Um, I don't know if there's any other games I want to play. I guess we could open up Steam real quick, take a quick peek. Make a look around if there's anything that pops out that I want to jump into right away. I've definitely been meaning to get back into a little bit of Halo. Uh, Apex Legends I was having fun with for a little while. Halo Infinite. I wonder if it's up to date. We could jump into that for a minute. Play around a big team battle. Uh, what else do I have here? It's really about it. That's really all I'm into right now that I would actually play. Star Wars Squadrons. This is something I need to get back into. I have the HOTAS set up for it. Played in VR. I've been thinking about playing that again. So that's an upcoming game I think I'm going to get into. And then, of course, I kind of wanted to start a new game on No Man's Sky at some point. And then there's um, Walking Dead Saints and Sinners VR game that I want to get back into at some point as well. But we're doing flat gaming tonight. Not going to do VR. But my whole stream setup is going to be changing because I'm doing a whole concept where my whole... S virtual Steve atmosphere is going to be like this house that I live in and I can transform over to a VR space from a flat space 
let's see if I this is the set ID that I had. So I'll show this real quick. So I'm going to change my view here. Why does this look like this? So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this house that has different rooms in it that I can do for different things. I could have room in the house for when I want to do interviews with guests that can be like on a couch if they have like a green screen. They could be on a screen if they're just on like a webcam. And then there'll be another part of the house that's specifically dedicated to uh, desktop gaming. So in the background behind me, what you guys will see is like the, the virtual stream room that I'm in, which is nice because I can just do whatever I want. And then there'll be another room in the house where it's like a VR room dedicated for where you guys can see my full body. I'm moving around in VR. And everything's going to be animated to where if I change rooms, there's going to be like a camera that moves and I teleport around. And it's going to be, I'm hoping to make it look very seamless. And what I thought would be cool, instead of just doing a virtual house, my virtual house is going to be on some kind of planetoid. So that way I can customize the planetoid as I want. If it's going to be a moon, if it's going to be a comet, if it's going to be an actual habitable planet. I could change the atmosphere, I could change the scenes, the settings. Um, and of course, it's also going to be a ship. Because I like the idea of the, uh, the stream being from a ship. It's like I can travel around, I can do stuff. I've always thought the idea of a, a starship being an actual planet would be pretty cool. Especially once you have the technology to kind of like wormhole and teleport anyways. The mass and the size of the uh, starship becomes kind of irrelevant anyways. So why not just have a whole planet that you're a starship? So this is the concept that I came up with. The sign, of course, will say uh, the Virtual Steve Show, something like that. I was thinking about having like a parking lot. And also I was thinking about populating the um, house with clones of me. So it gives me all kinds of opportunities to do all kinds of visual effects and uh, fancy stuff with clone effects and all kinds of stuff like that. But first things first, we got to build up the house itself. This is just all models I grabbed online for free. Just I just want to come up with a concept idea. This is an HDRI of the Crab Nebula, which I don't know if that's our... What is the Crab Nebula? Let's Google that. What is that thing in the background there? It looks like a blimp back there. Yeah, let's, let's find out. Let's do some research. What is the Crab Nebula? N-E-B-U-L-A. What is a Crab Nebula? Ah. Okay, Wikipedia. The Crab Nebula is a supernova remnant of the Pulsar Wind Nebula in the constellation of Taurus. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, t -t 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 I don't know how this relates to Earth. <clears throat> Cough button. Uh, yeah, I don't know if this is. Uh, I don't know what this is, but we're not going to worry about that right now. What we're going to do is we're going to model the rest of my room. So I'm in a room right now, in my house, and I'm actually working on a 3D model of that room. So we're going to change paces here. I probably should do like an intro to this or something because I might. Um... Oh, I have another thing I'm working on too. I have two different projects I'm working on right now, so we can hop back and forth between the two. They're both semi-related. The other project is in DaVinci Resolve, which will open. I uh, was reformatting my stream room, resetting up green screens, and I did a time-lapse video of me hanging up the green screen. Uh, and I got to edit this video. So I normally don't like to do video editing live, but I don't know. Maybe we will. Maybe I'll take a quick peek at this and uh, check it out. Let's see what we got so far. Let's... Uh, this is going to be stuff that other people won't get to see because this is all not going to be posted to the vinyl video. So we have two different video clips. This camera was on my desktop monitor on just a regular camera, and I used OBS to record this camera angle and the microphone audio. And then I had my nice uh, Samsung Note 20 camera that recorded this angle, uh, so I could do the time lapse of me hanging up the green screen, which we can uh, show really quick. Where's that? It's right here. So yeah, look at that. I got to blur out some uh, butt cracks and stuff. We'll have to use some blur features in here. 
No, I'm joking. The uh, time lapse will be so quick you won't see any of that. But this is the end result. And this is what I'm currently using for like my uh, 25 days of Beat Saber. Day number 25 we did with this setup here. So there he is. Yeah, look at that. Fruit of the Loom. What is this? I don't know. But uh, I want to model this room as well in Blender. So that's another thing that we're doing. I actually have most of it done. Uh, there's a couple of fun bits that I want to get to. So we can open that up too. So I got like two different projects I'm working on. Whatever one I feel most excited to work on, I will do. Let me check the time here. It's 10.30. So I figured I've got about 30 minutes to work on something. So we'll do that now. All right, let me uh, let me change paces here. I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go to my uh, restream dashboard here. I'm gonna at least change my Twitch settings to get off of that stupid game, uh, Lost Ark. Not stupid. Oh, look at this. This is me right here. Check it out. Taking the sip of a little water there. That looks good. Um, I forgot what I was just doing. Oh, yeah, I was going to restream. Okay. Uh, we're going to switch it over to, like, art channel or something like that on Twitch just so we can pick up some people that are interested in some art-type things related. I think there's an art option. Art Live. Here we go. It sounds good. Oh, wait. No, we didn't want that. Um, I think there's creative. Creativ. They used to have a creative uh, channel. Hmm. Well, let's go to Twitch and see what kind of channels they got. We'll switch over to one of these channels that seems most relevant to what we're doing right here. Browse, just chatting. That might be good for what we're doing. Um, hey, we could do ASMR. It's kind of what this is, you know. I thought there was an art thing. Let's type in art. Oh, creative. Here we go. Oh, there is an art. I guess this is considered art, right? Makers and crafting art. There's more viewers there. Let's go to art. Let's switch this up to art. So we're going to go A R T. Boom. Save that category. All right, so now we're streaming to art on uh, Twitch, which is cool. Okay. Open recent streamroom.blend. Let's uh, don't save this. Okay, let's take a look. So this is the room that I'm existing in right now. I am sitting on a desk that's facing these windows. And this is where my green screen was in that previous video that I just showed. So there's some stuff that we need to model here still. We still need to model some outlets. I want to do all this custom. I don't want to I want everything to be 100% custom for this. I need to model some trim for the windows. I need to model some outlets, some light switches and a door and some sliding doors. So we have it's like five different things we got to model. I can do at least one of them tonight. <clears throat> my voice is like crackling or something weird. All right, what do we want to model? Let's just do a whole new, uh, whole new blend file. We'll call this. Let's make this full screen. We're gonna call this uh, door. I think the door will be the most fun to do. Okay, let me go onto my uh, Google Photos real quick and see if I can find a good image here of my door. I could take one real quick. Actually, that might be good. Yeah, maybe that'd be better to do live. Let's have a good one on here. Mm, you know, we'll use DaVinci Resolve. We already we already have it open. Um, I have a video clip in here. I'm sure where I show the door at some point. Um, let's see. Scrub through this. Yeah, let's zoom in here. I bet this is a good. Uh, there we go. Okay, perfect. That'll work. Alright, scrub through this. I'm just going to get an image of that door. It doesn't got to be perfect. It's a little blurry. 
I think that's good there. So we're going to go into the color mode. We can grab a still. We can go to our stills. We could do export. We'll call this door. Uh, .png, boom. And now when we go into Blender, we can import image as planes, and we'll open that door right in here. We're going to move our camera so that it's facing the door. And where is my plane? Here it is. We're going to rotate this about the Y, 90 degrees, turn on color mode. And we should be to business here pretty soon. All right, let's just rotate this so that it's lined up with this axis. That looks pretty good. We'll rotate a little bit more. And we're going to model this door really quick. This should be pretty quick. Pretty easy. There's some fun bits to it for sure. I want to rotate this 180 degrees, though. Mm, I want to flip it. How do I flip it? Uh, we could probably go to the material settings here. And we could probably use this. We'll hit Control T. And we will can we flip it with this. 180. Hmm. Alright, maybe we can't flip it, but that's okay. I don't need to flip it. <clears throat> All right, so this is easy. We're going to start with the plane. We're going to scale it. We're going to move it in position like this. Then we're just going to grab these points and just move them along. GX. Pretend like this is taken from a perspective that's, uh, you know, normal. G. Y, somewhere down here. I can always change the uh, dimensions of this later. And we need to do some loop cuts here to get that geometry good. So we can do some loop cuts. Boom. Boom. And boom. And there's going to be another one somewhere near the bottom. Don't know where, but we'll call it right about there. Then we need some loop cuts here, here, there, and there. I want to try to get some copyright free music going. Let's see if we can get that going. I always want to get some background music. Uh, I think Spotify might be a good option. Let's try that. Oh, it's like we would want to listen to some uh, Joe Rogan while we were live or some Lex Friedman podcast or maybe some Star Talk radio podcast. These are my top three go-to uh, podcasts here that I listen to. A lot of controversy right now with Joe Rogan, which is quite interesting because I've been listening since ooh, episode 950 or something like that. So it feels like like four or five years now I've been listening to Joe Rogan. and It's a shame that he's getting all this hate but it's also kind of a good thing for him too it's a lot of publicity so uh let's look up copyright free oh i think it's chill uh copyright free let's type that in and see what we get copyright free lo-fi this sounds cool let's put this on give us a little background tunes yeah 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 okay yeah we can model to this Okay, so this entire thing is pretty much done. Let's put in some loop cuts for the door handle. Something like that. Something like this. Something like that. And let's remember that's for our door handle. Okay, we can get rid of this reference image now. I think I'm good on that. We're going to pop it over here on the side. Image editor open. Let's throw that door over there. Let's stare at it here if we need it. 
Now we can't forget the hinges and stuff like that as well, but that's fine. Alright, let's get rid of this dumb plane. And let's go into edit mode. So first things first, let's give this sucker a little bit of depth. We could measure it and get everything exact, but for now we're just gonna we're gonna eyeball some stuff here. So all these sections here are gonna be going downwards. Oh, this is all one piece here. So we just extrude, I think. It's a nice little, it's a little love there. But I wanna be careful here. What I wanna do is I wanna give all of these edges a little bit of a bevel. So I'm gonna control click around. Then we're gonna hit a little control B to bevel. it's doing that does that make sense that it's doing that okay it makes sense before we do that let's hit control Z let's hit control A and apply the scale this is this will give us a more uniform bubble here it's a little touch I want to know what value I'm using too so let's call this whoa control Z control Z control B um, yeah let's go to the slider here I want to I want to know what this is. So we're going to call this 0 .0016. 0 .0016. I'll apply that same bevel to all this goodness over here. Boom, 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 boom. Control B, 0 .0016. Gives it that nice little reflective edge to it that we want. Uh, we could do the same with the outside of it right now, but I don't know what I'm going to do with the rest of it. So uh, let's give this a material. Um, and let's load in an HDRI just so we can get some lighting that we want to see. So we'll add an environment texture. Open up our favorite HDRI that we have in our downloads folder on the D drive. Don't really know what it is, but it just gives us something to work with here. We'll go over into lighting mode. Make sure we turn on our transparent background. So we're gonna have to actually look at the HDRI. See you later. And that gives us some nice differential lighting that creates some shadows and stuff. Already starting to look like a door. Um, texturing the door. Very basic white. Can I look at it right now? Eh, I can't look at it right now. We'll bring down the white a little bit. Something like that. Bring down the roughness a little bit. It's a little shiny. And we could probably put some kind of noise texture on there too. Give it a little variation. So I'm going to go noise. We're going to hit control T as we do with object coordinates. Then we're gonna use a color ramp and we're gonna take a look at what this looks like. So let us customize the noise amount. So right now the scale is probably way off, so let's change the scale value here. This is gonna give us that non-uniform paint look. I can modify this as such. Just little speckles here and there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to feed that into the bump node to give it a little bit of different lighting here. We're going to feed that into the height. And we might need to invert it. Let's zoom in. So that's kind of insetting our... Now what we want to do is decrease the strength here so it's not as strong. Oh no, the distance. Sorry, the distance. Always distance. And what we might have to do... Yeah, what we're going to have to do is it's going to be somewhere around 0.02. So we're going to need a value node. And we're going to need a math node. And we're going to divide by 1,000 to give us that precision that we need. So let's divide by 1,000. Plug this value in. And we know it's going to be somewhere around 0.02, so I can just copy that, paste it in here. 
plug this back in to the distance. Why was that not right? 0 0.02, oh, because it was divided by 1,000, okay. Uh, okay, that's fine. So to get back to 0 0.02, we would have to multiply that. So we just gotta remove a couple decimals. So let's try 0.2, that's probably gonna not work. Oh, that's actually not bad. Okay, I think that's kind of what we want. Let's look at some areas where it's catching the light. And we'll just adjust it here. And it's a very subtle, something like that. Boom. So now if we ever do any close-ups on this door, it won't look 100% uniform. Okay, time to model and texture the handle. Which, where's the handle? I think it's right here. I don't know. Can't be that low, can it? It's like that's probably the handle there. That's why I did those cuts there. Yeah, it doesn't seem right, but. Hmm. Baby, I won't get very far. All right, what we'll do is we'll bring all this up a little bit because that seems a little strange. I don't have a full view of that door. Do I? Let's go back to DaVinci Resolve and let's take a look. I'm curious how how far up that door that handle is. So it's like it's like seventy percent, maybe sixty-five percent of the way up that line there so this is definitely too low it's like 50 percent so we're going to wireframe view and we can grab all of these lovely points here and we can hit gg to slide them on up whoa individual origins what do we got to do hmm. i don't know why it's not working all right let's just go g y slide them on up and interestingly enough this door is going to end up being flipped. That's fine. I think it's a little bit higher than that, maybe. G, Y. Okay. That's cool. Right, let's go back into our other view here. So this piece is going to come out here. What's nice about this, I can probably just change the texture on this now. Extrude Z. Um, why does it look like that? Extrude Z. We can hit Control Plus to grab all the side edges. I'm going to make a new material. This is going to be called Door Color, the original one. And we're going to make a new material called Handle Color. It's really just like a black. Uh, we're going to assign it to that. And let's just make this kind of like black, you know. Let's go into our... Uh, it's pretty dark. we got to go darker than that. Let me turn the roughness up. Pretty dark. Uh, it's pretty dark. Yeah, we might have to go all the way. Turn the specular down a little bit. All right, that's fine for now. All right, I don't know if I have any close-ups with this handle, so we might have to uh, might have to go back to our footage. It's kind of tough. Can't really see it in the footage because it's all black. I wonder if there's any part of this video where I looked at the door at all. You know, it'd be a fun little thing to do would be to paint out this white paint on my shirt. I could totally do that. Come on, door. Where are you at? Am 
My desk was in such a bad placement over there. It's such a dumb idea. Oh, here we go, here we go. I literally could just take a picture of the door. It's like right behind me right now. All right, this doesn't need to be perfect. That's a horrible picture that I have. I'm just gonna go take a picture of it. Okay, the beautiful thing about Google Photos is that should upload pretty quickly. You should be able to just see that image here in a second. Let's go to Google Photos. I wonder how long it takes to upload. I can manually upload it, I think, too, so it happens instantly. I just go to my gallery on my phone. I'll select these photos. I go to Share to Google Photos. Or I can just throw them in my Discord. Let's do that. Throw them into my spam channel. Bada bing. Bada boom. Fastest way. Check it out. Hop over to the Virtual Steve Discord. Links in the description, guys. Then we take a look at the spam channel. Look at that. This is what we wanted here. All right, save image as. No, not this one. We'll call this handle. Whoa. Okay. Let's open up our handle image for reference. If I saved that correctly. I don't think I did. Save image. Mm, new stream room setup, whatever. Let's save it there as a JPEG, it's fine. There it is. Okay. So that's a square. I'm not gonna worry about that extra geometry. This doesn't look like a square though. So, I don't know how to mathematically make this a square from here, but we can certainly eyeball it. That's what we're gonna do. Okay, this lo-fi chill music's not bad. This is why reference is good. Because I would just assume this was a rectangle based on what I did. It's not. It's a square. G Y. Here we go, perfect square, ready for this? Close to a perfect square. Three blocks down. Can I grab this whole line here? I certainly can. GX. What did that not grab? Hmm. It's closer to the edge. Uh, oh, it's kind of centered. So that's a perfect square now. So now we just grab the rest of these lines here. And now we can center this. So this is like a couple blocks over that way. We're just going to eyeball it. Something like that. 
Get your first photo free with promo code CREATE22 at Suna.com. Okay. What's for dinner? And even Why do I got ads on here? When you've got a toddler. All right, we're just going to inset this. This is going to be quick and dirty. Something like this. Extrude. Let's bevel this one here. Slight bevel. Inset this. Extrude it up. And set this sucker here. Scale it in the Y. A little bit. Extrude it out. And that handle just does not seem right. I feel like it all needs to be moved up more. This looks wrong. Seems too thin too, doesn't it? All fixable. Where is it? So we have to like scale all this maybe. So it's tricky because you want to grab only the points you're interested in. Let's see what happens if we scale these. Huh. All right, I'm just gonna make this a little bit fatter here. Do the same thing here. All right, let's bevel everything and then let's uh let's add it to my room scene and see what happens. There's a little lock on here too we could do. There's a feature I want to try on here that I haven't used before. It's a Go loop cut tool, mesh, um, loop tools. I don't want to get to loop tools. Let's see if I have that enabled. Uh, it's an add ons edit, preferences, add ons, loop. Loop tools is there, so it's a mesh setting. Mesh. I don't know where Lou Tools is. Yo, what's up, Hater? Welcome back to the Virtual Steve Show. I'm just searching for Loop Tools here in my mesh settings here. I don't see it. Transform. Maybe it's like a uh, an add-on over here. Tool, edit, loop tools, there it is, okay. So a circle, best fit, radius, holy crap. So this would add a circle, that doesn't look like a circle to me. Certainly not a circle, eh? Regular, flatten, angle, circle. How's that a circle? Now, loop tools are supposed to kind of just add like a geometry. You need to inset it first and then do the circle tool on it. Never used loop tools before.
Might need to give it more geometry first. Let's subdivide this um, a bunch of times. Now let's try the circle tool. Yeah, I think that's what we needed to do. Let's try 0 0.005. I want it to be smaller than that. So 0 0.0025. I don't think that's what we want. I think it's going to make some bad geometry, but I think I can make it work too. So let's go G, Z, select these faces here, control plus, control minus, I just want these ones. Oh, maybe I can select that edge. Turn off wireframe view. What's going on, hater? I love a good hater on the Virtual Steve show, you know? We just got done playing some uh, Lost Ark. I'm trying to create this lock right now. It's on the door. So let's extrude this and the Z. Let's make a face. I wonder if this is going to look like when it's shaded. I don't know why it's set up like that, but it doesn't look too bad. Let's uh, select similar. by normal, what does that do? Okay, then we can turn on face snapping and we can snap it, we'll go G, Z. Uh, let's turn on a vertex. Vertex, G, Z. All right, that's better. Just trying to see if that looks weird. Yeah, it looks a little weird, eh? Well, uh, we'll select all these. This is probably a horrible way to do this, but. That's what I'm about to do. I'm going to scale these in the Z to zero. Try to bring these back in line. Hopefully I don't ever bring this model into a game engine because it's certainly not going to do anything. All right, watch this. Okay, I think we got most of them. Scale Z zero. G Z snap it to here. All right, that looks a little bit better. It's still a little wonky in some spots, but you're not going to get this close to this door handle. No one's getting that close. All right, let's inset this. Let's uh, subdivide this. I don't know if we can. You know what we can do though? We can do a knife cut tool. I want to put the lock on here. Why well, should we be able to inset that? Eh? Inset that again. Let's zoom in on this over here. What's going on here? Scale this. Do a knife cut tool. Try to just go straight down. Enter. K. Go straight down. Enter. It's not perfect, but I'm going to extrude this. Turn off snapping. 
I'm going to bevel this sucker quite a bit, make it smooth. Try to bevel these edges too if I can. It doesn't cause any problems. Yeah, there's, there's issues there, so we're not going to worry about that. But that gives us our lock. And that's our door handle. All we got to do now is bevel some edges here, and here, and here, and here, and here. And up here. And around here. And maybe these ones. Bevel them a little bit. We want this one. Oh. Bevel these ones too. Slight bevel. Oh, I lost these ones. What the hell? I don't want these ones. I mean, I do. Whatever. We're beveling everything. These lo-fi beats, I'm telling you, I don't know. They're pretty good. Perfect for just chilling out. Slight bevel. Look pretty good. Definitely got some issues in some of the mesh here. Let's mess with our shade smooth here. All right, that fixed it. All right, let's bring this into our blender room scene and see if we made us a little nice door for the room here. So I'm going to save this as door. I'm going to save this whole project. Then we're going to open up the stream room one. I'm going to shift right click right here, file, append, we're going to open up our door, we're going to go to objects, door, there it is, rotate, x90, gz, objects, set origin, I'm going to set the origin to the bottom corner of this. Shift S, cursor to selection. Then I'm going to go to. Where did my door go? Where is it? It's right here. Object, set origin to cursor. Boom. So now. Shift. When I bring this door over here, rotate Z90, mm, we got an issue. We'll finish this door. What we need to do is we need to mirror the sucker. So what I'm going to do is go into my wireframe view. We're going to grab all of these points. We're going to bring them over in the X. I'm going to set my origin to this point here. Uh, Shift S, cursor to selected. Object mode. Object set origin to 3D cursor. I'm going to apply a mirror modifier. And that should give us what we want. It should give us the same geometry on both sides. Look at that. Rotate Z 180. Rotate Z 180. G shift Z. One thing this thing's missing is some handles. Scale. I haven't measured anything out in this room yet, so it seems kind of weird. But at least we got the door there now. Looks pretty good. 
the handle's definitely too long. So we can do a little GY. GZ. And that's what the door looks like in my room. So I think we're good. Got to get some measurements in here and stuff. None of this stuff seems to be to scale. Okay, we got the door done, guys. So that's one less thing to do. I got to do some more measurements. This stuff might have to come down. Not sure, really. Something seems off. I'm going to leave it for now because I did take these measurements at one point with the measuring tape. I believe this is all correct. So let's just get a quick little uh, render of this door and just kind of see what things look like at least. Render image. Maybe the door was the other way. I don't know. Got to fix my carpet. I made the trim a darker color on purpose just so I could distinguish the trim versus everything else. The trim is actually pretty close to the wall color here. But we're one step closer to finishing my stream room. Uh, what time is it here? It's 11.10, okay? It's getting pretty late, so we've got to wrap this up. Let's, uh, let's finish with a round of halo to mix things up a bit. I'm happy I got that door done. We'll finish this at another time. This Da Vinci Resolve project that I'm working on. Get a quick little sneak peek though. Let's see what's going on here. A lot of these uh, inset lighting. So yeah. Green screen is now going to be right directly hung on this wall, which I think is going to be pretty cool. Uh, normally in the past... So what I, I like about this is this lights. is a dual camera scene, so it's so cool. I can just I can just break out and yeah, I can show the different angles. Enough. Green screen is now... I can cut from me being green here. Green screen is now going to be right directly hung on... To me yeah, being over there. Lights were enough, but I think I'm going to need to start using those lights to get some better lighting in this little nook over here. <laughs> Uh, this is an interesting feature of the room here as well, is that there's this cutout. And I, <laughs> as you can see, the desk is kind of like at the end of the cutout. So literally this entire cutout is being wasted. Pardon my uh, messy desk. I'm in the process of just ripping things apart. I got my router back there. It's like if I ever want to get back That's there That's all to gone now. It's so nice now over there, guys. It's so clean things. and clear. I literally got to crawl underneath. I still got the sound panels it's over there, though. It's a whole mess. Um, and I'm also getting rid of all this junk. I got this, uh, whatever this thing is. Over There's here, a door stand, we just made. Shelf. It's facing it's the wrong junk. way. <laughs> I keep all my random wires in this basket. I'm just putting everything away that I don't. All need. that crap has gone now. It looks so much better. All right, let's uh, let's close this and not save it. Yeah, let's play one quick round of Halo. I've been meaning to get back into that. All right, so we'll open up Halo. Play one round, just one round. I gotta get going. So we're going to go library, Halo. Oh, someone's playing Lost Ark. Look at that. Fluke Rogi. He's playing it. People like it. What can I say? Halo Infinite. Let's launch it. I'll be right back, folks. Let's go to the bathroom.
All right, it's been a while, Halo. Long time no see. All right, let's switch up over to some game capture here. Got any audio? I don't hear nothing. <clears throat> Multiplayer, what should we play? Quick play, Big Team Battle, Fiesta. They have all new modes now since I played this not last while. Ranked is what I used to play. Alright, let's play... Let's just play some Big Team Battle. I think that'll be... Nah, let's go to Ranked. Fuck it. Diamond 5. <clears throat> Crossplay. Solo duo. I'm only Platinum 4. I mean, I'll do that. Mouse and keyboard Q. It's been so long since I played this. I haven't warmed up or anything. This is more my kind of pace of game versus that Lost Ark game that we played earlier. Much more my pace. Action, strategy. You're not doing quests from people. You're not talking to people for an hour and a half. <clears throat> Just get straight into some combat. I don't know if people are going to be able to hear me in this game. That's the only question. Uh, let's go to our settings here and see if people can hear me. Settings, audio. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Voice chat input. Definitely don't want the freaking camera. Alright, we should be good. People should be able to hear me now. Apparently this game is dying. I don't know. I, I've been reading a lot of things online. Like, not a lot of people are playing this. The player base is going away. It's kind of sad. But, um, it's free to play, so... I still like Halo. I have not touched this game in, like, five weeks, six weeks, longer. I don't know. It's been a while. But I'm excited to uh, play around and see if I still got the goods. Platinum 4 is pretty, pretty high rank for solo duo queue. So we're going to be uh, fighting some pretty good people here. While that's loading, I'll switch over my restream settings to Halo. So we can get some Halo people watching this last game. I'll probably play a round or two of this. Uh, yeah, let's stop doing art. Let's go to Halo. Halo Infinite. Boom. This is the third time I've changed my Twitch setting since we've gone live. We started out with Lost Ark. Played through the prologue. It was a pretty decent game. It's free to play as well. But it's an MMO. I don't really have time for an MMO. Blah, 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 blah. I can't even talk. Don't have time for an MMO. <laughs> Elden Ring, though. Oh, I can't wait till that comes out. That comes out the 25th. That's next Friday, guys. So uh, I'll probably be live streaming it next Friday when it comes out. If all goes as planned. Why is this taking so long? What is going on? There's really no one playing this game anymore? All right, whatever. Let's uh, let's just do some deathmatch. <laughs> Free for all Slayer. Team Slayer. Here we go. All right, this seems to be working. Bada bing, bada boom, boom. Loading map, that's what I want to see. Oh, scooch up here. Let's see what we're working with for our camera here. So I came with this interesting setup for my camera. It literally, I put these uh, command strips on the ceiling. They're uh, Velcro. And I just hung this green screen up behind me. It's even torn. Look at this green screen. It's embarrassing. There's a whole torn out piece there, but it works. And I literally only had to pay like two bucks for the command strips. <laughs> Instead of spending a hundred and X amount of dollars on a Elgato uh, 
green screen setup thing, which I want, but hey, if I can do it for cheap, I'm going to do it for cheap. Oh, shit, I just screwed something up. That's all right. There we go. All right, we're good. Yo, what's up? Can you guys hear me? Hello, hello. Testing, testing. Of course, my headset batteries are low. It's always good. Oh yeah, we got the, uh, the fancy helmets now. Move fast and kill faster. Going off my FPS. Let me check this real quick. I want to go to my desktop real quick. How do I do that? Usually Windows D gets you to your desktop. Display settings. Advanced display settings. All right, we're at 140 hertz. Let's go. That's something that seemed weird. It's like I'm not getting good frames right now. I don't know. Jesus. Oh, kill from the grave. Watch out now. Suck it. The game just feels... The frame rate's not good right now. Finish him, he's one shot, he's one shot underneath. He's got a halo above his head. that boys one shot come on now oh, Jesus they're everywhere he's one shot he's one shot he's going underneath oh, he's not he's by invisibility Power weapons up in here. Jesus. Game audio is a bit loud, eh? Dial that back a little bit. <clears throat> oh, we got someone with a mic. What's up, man? Got a microphone up with this piece. Catwalk, catwalk. One shot over a catwalk. Watch out now. Enemy halfway to victory. This guy's still alive, wow. Finish him, finish him. Nice man. Jesus. Three of them over there by uh, C spawn, I think that is. Can you guys even hear me? Hello, hello. Oh, 
One shot at my ex. Enemy team nearing victory. Wow. Suck on that. Keep your head down. Who was that guy? BR, I want that. Power items on the way. No! Jesus Christ, you guys are terrible. Holy shit. You said I'm terrible, let me see. God damn, you guys are bad. <laughs> Six and fifteen. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty bad. Let's play one more. I'm feeling warmed up. I think my settings are off though. Something feels a little funky. I'm gonna blame it on that. Let's play one more. Video settings. Let's go in there. Settings, video. Where's my frame rate at? I don't know why it feels weird. Things on high. Yeah, it feels weird. Shows my frame rate up at the top. I was getting like 110 frames a second. That's doing pretty good. Man, the stream was all over the place tonight. All freaking over the place. We sucked at Lost Ark, played through the prologue, we jumped over to Blender and made a door, and then we get schooled in Halo 3. What more could you want? Not much more than that. Sounds like a good show to me. Such a different dynamic to doing these desktop gaming versus uh, virtual reality gaming. <clears throat> Can anyone hear me? Hello, hello. Oh shit, my headset's gonna be dead soon. Fuck. Alright, that's probably my last game here, guys. I don't like these stupid mohawk things. They look so stupid. Oh, there he goes. Beat him to a pulp, Spartan. Overshield, I want that. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give Seriously? So much for having an overshield, that did not help at all. Drive me. Come on, come on. Enemy 
This is annoying. Jesus. I suck at Halo. I should have never played this. Let's see if I can redeem myself somehow. I got a kill at least. That's all I want. One kill. I do not know this map like at all either. Skewer inbound. Skewer inbound. Where's that spawn at? Over there? Okay. Fight him, let's fight him. Oh, get in there. Crouch, do something. This is just like a murder fest right now. There we go. That's what I need. Another one down. Let's get this warthog. Come on, baby. Got multiple targets. My armor looks cool. That's all that matters. Here we go. Never sucked so much at this game in my life. What's going on? There we go. Keep your head down. Oh, fuck this ghost up. Power items on the field. Hydra? Oh shit. Seems pretty good, I think. Three and eight. That's not too bad. Live with that. Oh, 
This is brutal. This is brutal. I've had a couple of good moves here and there, I'll say that. Suck it. Five minutes remaining. Any team carrying the I'm getting kills, I'm getting kills. Oh god. Big teams, what is this, like eight versus eight? This is just four versus four, and it keeps showing like the older people in the game. Nine and 12, baby, let's go. Yeah, feet. All right, guys, that's how I end the virtual Steve show tonight. We suck. We suck at Halo, and we're never playing it again, okay? That's what we're doing. All right, guys, I'm peacing out of here. It was a crazy stream tonight. Did a lot of fun stuff, but guess what? Sometimes it just has to come to an end. So uh, at some point, I'll have some fancy intros and outros again. But until then, I'm just going to do this and say peace out, y'all. Catch y'all in the next episode of the Virtual Steve Show. See ya.